Hello everyone, I am Eat This. Pork trotters are rich in collagen. Many people really love to eat them. However, many people have a misunderstanding when choosing pork trotters. Is it better to buy the front leg or the hind leg? I suggest buying the front leg. The front leg has more meat and less bone. Today, I'll use the front leg to share a delicious dish with you. First, use a knife to carefully scrape off the impurities and remaining pig hair on the surface of the pork trotter. When preparing the pork trotter, I had the butcher chop it in advance. This makes it easier to cut when prepping. After scraping it clean, rinse it several times with clean water. Next, place the pork trotter on a chopping board. Cut it into small pieces and put them into a large bowl. Then we prepare a pot with clean water and add the pork trotters into cold water. Add a piece of scallion and a bit of ginger. Pour in a small amount of cooking wine. These three ingredients are essential for blanching meat to remove the odor. Turn up the heat, and after it boils, use a slotted spoon to scoop it out. Place it into a large bowl you've prepared in advance. Then, use your hands to wash it clean. Wash off the surface foam. After washing it clean, take it out with your hands. Put it back into the bowl for later use. Next, heat up a pot with some cooking oil. Add 18 pieces of rock sugar. Today I'll teach you how to caramelize sugar. At this point, keep the heat low and stir the rock sugar as it melts. Let the rock sugar melt. Once it melts, the sugar will turn yellow. At this time, continue to stir slowly with low heat. The color will become deeper and deeper. When the sugar starts to smoke and bubbles form, keep stirring. At this point, you must stay focused. When the sugar turns this date red color, and large bubbles appear, quickly add a kettle of boiling water. Make sure to use boiling water. Isn't caramelizing sugar this way really simple? The color is also very beautiful. Have you learned it? Next, you can add the pork trotters and stir fry them to coat with color. Keep stirring continuously. Make sure every piece of pork trotter is coated with caramel. As the water evaporates, the color of the pork trotters deepens. To make beautiful pork trotters, mastering caramelization is very important. When the caramel is done well, the pork trotters will have a beautiful, glossy appearance. Look, doesn't it look very appetizing? Next, pour a bowl of boiling water into the pot. The water should cover the pork trotters. Next, add star anise, cinnamon, bay leaves, and dried chili. Stir with a spoon. Make sure the spices are submerged in the broth. Bring it to a boil over high heat, then reduce to low heat and cover the pot to simmer for one hour. Halfway through, open the lid to adjust the seasoning. 
add the right amount of salt. Then add a spoonful of light soy sauce. Next, add a spoonful of oyster sauce to enhance the flavor. Continue stirring with a spoon. To ensure the seasoning is evenly distributed. If you don't want to wait too long. You can put it in a pressure cooker. Cook in the pressure cooker for 10 minutes. Simmer on low heat. The flavor will be more aromatic. After an hour, we open the lid. Wow, by this time the pork trotters are already tender. And the color is very beautiful. The whole house is filled with a rich aroma. At this point, remember to close the windows. Otherwise, the girl next door will come over again to grab a bite. Remember not to add soy sauce. Or else the color will turn black. Next, we'll remove all the spices from the pot. This way, it will look more appealing when served in the bowl. Each piece of pork trotter is especially beautiful. It looks so good that you just want to take a bite. Next, we add a small amount of chicken essence to the pork trotters. If you don't like it, you can skip this step. Then sprinkle a little bit of pepper powder. Then turn up the heat to reduce the sauce. Once the sauce has almost reduced, it's done. Isn't it really simple? This is how you make a fatty yet non-greasy. Delicious and visually appealing braised pork trotters. Now we can plate it into a bowl. Finally, sprinkle a little green onion as garnish. Using my method, the pork trotters turn out fatty but not greasy. Tender, flavorful, and full of fragrance. Friends who like pork trotters, save this recipe and give it a try. It will definitely not disappoint you. If you like my video, remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment and share. Click on my profile to see more food videos. I post different food videos every day. See you in the next video. Thank you for your support.